Welcome to U-Technology. In this session, we'll be discussing how to connect the RGB controllers to the LED flex strip. We have two types of controllers. We have the basic RGB controller, like this one here with the remote, and this allows you to control the RGB strip in any of the RGB color modes. This controller and remote are a little bit more sophisticated because it allows you to operate the RGBW strip in an RGB mode, RGBW mode, or tunable white mode. This is the basic RGB remote and controller. The brain of the operation is the controller, exactly what it sounds like. It controls the RGB flex tape. It tells it what color to turn on and which color to turn off. The RGB controller is connected to the LED flex tape via the wires that comes along with it, or the soldered wire at the end. In this case here, we connected the blue wire to the blue connection, the green wire to the green connection, the red wire to the red connection, and the positive to the positive. And on the other side here, we connected the positive and negative output from the power supply to the controller. The remote and the controller can communicate between each other using radio frequency technology, and they could be as far as 20 meters or 60 feet or longer of a distance. Now I will demonstrate this. I'll turn the power on and I'll turn the tape on for you guys. Now I'll demonstrate how the remote control function works. The remote control is a wheel thumb controller. You have the option of, of, uh, of writing a single color, in this case like red or blue or green. The remote controls has many programs built in. It allows you to run a pre-programmed functionalities like you can see in this case where it's fluctuating or, mo or moving from one color uh, to another. Or this basic RGB controller allows you to run for up to six amps per channel. What that means, just over 200 watts on a 12-volt system and just over 400 watts on a 24-volt system. Now we will demonstrate the RGBW controller and remote system. Let me demonstrate how this works. First of all, we connect the RGBW controller to the RGBW side here, control side, where the positive goes into the positive, the red goes to the red, green goes to the green, blue goes to the blue, and the pure white goes by itself. On the other side here, we connect the positive and negative input power supply, whether it's 12 volt or 24 volt system. The RGBW controller that I'm holding in my hand allows for eight amps per channel. This means up to 384 watts for a 12 volt system and 768 watts in a 24 volt system. One more thing worthy of noting is the amplifier. The amplifier or the repeater allows you to extend the LED tape further by repeating the signal. The first LED flex strip would go into here along with the power supply. These two get combined in the amplifier and the function of the amplifier to amplify the RGBW signal into the output and this from this point it goes to the next and the next and the next.